Hey guys, so for about a year now, I've been working on a book, which is all about fitness and training. It's, I would say it's a manual of sorts. So the training manual has an exercise library. It has extensive knowledge of programming, and programming is basically how you make your own workout like plan, and then how you can change that like on the fly, how you want to change it depending on what your goals are. So it has all that knowledge, and it has 18 sample plans included, and more. So, if you're interested, leave a comment below. You know, as I get older and older, I say that, but I'm not, I'm not even old, I'm pretty young. Anyway, I see more and more people with a lack of responsibility. Maybe that's, maybe that's just, just that people aren't really responsible. You know, maybe that's just the default. Like, people aren't really responsible. But I remember, I see these figures that I look up to and they're, they're plenty of responsible. I see the people I look up to and they all have a sense of responsibility that's much greater than the people that I can see with my own two eyes, the people who I can talk to. I personally believe that people now in the modern time are less responsible than ever because we don't need to be. We don't need to be that responsible, but I think that being more responsible leads to a better life, even if we need to put it on ourselves. Even if our environment does not demand that of us, I think we need to demand that of us. I came across a concept on the Modern Wisdom podcast from, I think he was interviewing Jocko Willink, and his concept was extreme ownership, which is basically taking responsibility for absolutely everything in your life. Like, I mean, like, if your wife is mad at you for, like, something that's not even remotely close to you at all, it's still your responsibility. It's still yours because you can affect her mood. Sure, she's mad right now, but what can you do to change that? What can you do? That's extreme ownership. Extreme ownership is not taking responsibility for it raining. Like, I'm not responsible for the weather, but I am responsible for the mood that I am in because of the weather. I'm responsible for feeling bad or depressed on a rainy day. That's me. I can control the rain, but I can't control what I feel. That's my responsibility. It is in this <coughs> extreme ownership that you have the power to change things. Because if you don't if you don't think that it's your fault, it's your responsibility, you won't change anything. Like, if I blame others for my mistake, I can't do anything about it because the responsibility lies at them. They need to change so that this situation gets better for me because you know I'm not to blame you know it's all their fault they need to change not me but that leaves you powerless that leaves you with no ability to better the situation are you so willing to let your power be given away like that are you so willing to give up your power to change yourself tell the external world you change me no I, I won't change myself but you will change me right the world does not care the world will not help you. You need to help yourself. You need to take ownership. It's your fault. It's always your fault. Now, I know that taking extreme ownership is very hard. It's very hard. Most likely, we'll not be able to jump into it. Just like, taking responsibility for this, 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 that, that, everything. You don't need to. Just take responsibility for one more thing. One more thing each. Each day. Or each week. Or each month. Take responsibility for one more thing. One more thing that has happened. Take responsibility for it. And, you know, if you take responsibility each day for a year, I don't even know how many things you're going to find. Like, you'll be responsible for, like, 365 more things. Like, I'm not even sure if I can find that many things. Well, I'm sure there is. You get done in the nitty-gritty. But you take responsibility one, one, one more thing at a time. You become so much more responsible. You'll become a beast. You'll become unrecognizable to your past self. You will look at who you were in the past and be like, yeah, yeah, you were weak. But then you also realize that if I was weak then, and I started from there, how strong will I get in the future? How strong will I get? How strong could I get? This concept makes me very excited for the future because I can't wait to see who I become, to see how much better I become. Like if I'm already pretty good, I'd say, about myself, 
uh, right now, how much better will I become in the future? How many more challenges will I be able to face? Anyway, kind of a tangent, but take responsibility.